Hey guys, I'm Zach Gray, and today we're in Career, Mississippi, and we're going to be hunting this little creek, and there's no telling what we're going to find. Today was definitely a beautiful day to come out here. I mean, the water was gorgeous, the sun was shining. It was definitely an awesome day to find some critters. Oh, isn't he cute? This is a baby leopard frog. He doesn't have a lot of spots on him, but I can see him on his leg and on his face. He's got those little stripes like a leopard frog. Now, this is like just came from a tadpole. I mean, he is little, little. Oh, oh, I got him. Oh, he's so cute. It's a baby turtle. <laughs> oh, look at his face. He's so cute. It's a river cooter. It's a little baby river cooter. I mean, he is little, little. He's got a cool map-like pattern on his shell. Look at that. It's awesome. I mean, this is just a little tiny baby. They get they get much bigger than this. It's often mistaken for a red-eared slider, but you're not going to see a little red ear on them. That's that's the major difference. And they have different shell patterns. And they live, you know, sometimes they'll live in the same area, which is also often why people can mistake them for it. Yum, yum, yum. He's so cute. Um, oh, look at him. He wants to get back. Whoosh! Freedom! We got... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He's beautiful. He's, he's a three line. He's so cute. Oh, look at him. Look at him, he's beautiful. <laughs> he's long. Look at how long he is. Now, the only difference between two line and a three line is actually size because you can tell he's actually only got two big yellow lines on him up to about the uh, Kentucky area they live mostly in the southern areas they eat worms slugs small crickets that's mostly their diet is small insects Gru grubs are their favorite and they'll eat snails as well um, a lot of times you'll find them in the leaf litter on in the bottom of the woods that's where they like to live. But as we can see, they live under the logs in these little areas. He's got his little moist spot right there that he was sitting in. Bright yellow coloring, very easy to tell what he is. Wow. He is an awesome, awesome little guy. He's a cutie. I'm gonna let the little through line that we caught earlier back go a little farther in than we found him to where he can you know, move a little better. Good boy. So we found a three line down by the river a minute ago and um, we figured well maybe there's some salamanders up in the woods off the river. Uh, as you can see it's still right there but we're gonna come up here and see if we can find any other salamanders. A millipede. Look at him. Oh, he's cool. Nice. the snake hook is much better because <laughs> if there's a poisonous snake under here it's gonna bite the hook and not my hand. Give yourself room to flip the big one over. New one. Right. We got some slimy. Oh, wow. Look, 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 look. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, these are so cool. Oh, my goodness. Wow. These are slimy salamanders. 
all three of them, the same kind. Wow. Get those two and I'll hold this one. All right, these are amphibians, not a, rep not a reptile. If, you ha ask, if someone asks you the difference between a salamander and a lizard, you say, well, a salamander is an amphibian and a lizard is a reptile. They have a moist skin, so that means they need to live in a moist area like this. Man, mosquitoes, they bite me. <laughs> wow. They've got little distinct white spots all of them. They're, solid, they're black with these little white dots all over them. And look, this one, he's sliming me up. That's why it's called a slimy salamander. I'm getting this really thick slime on my fingers. I'm probably going to have to really scrub it off. And I don't know if he's going to do it for me, but one really unique thing about the slimy salamander is that they will actually play dead. Not joking. I've never seen any other salamander do that, but the slimy will actually play dead. If you hold them for long enough, they will play dead, which is awesome. Very special salamander. Look at his little face. He's so cute. He's so cute. I'm not going to eat you, buddy. Let's get him back. Under here. I'm going to flip the log back over and I'm going to let them all three go together. Put them all down there where they can find their way back under the log. Yep, they'll find their way good. Awesome. After we were done catching salamanders, we came back to the river hoping that we could find some more animals along the river. It may just look like a stick, but that is actually a water snake right there. Your goal here. Uh, I'm gonna run at him and grab it. Diamondback water snake, amazing water snake. All, only eats fish and frogs, that's their whole diet is fish and frogs. And they'll actually get about two feet longer and I'd say about two or three times thicker. I mean, it's the biggest water snake you'll find here. Isn't he pretty? Wow. It's a great snake. Awesome snake. Let him go right back in the shallow area where you can see him. Whoosh. Little river dragon. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And if you didn't already see them, go check out one of my first videos. And also comment down below what your favorite animal in this video was.